Well, hello there, my dear friends, and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. And as you guessed, it's all about the rabbit, baby. Here I have a fantastic English wild spring rabbit. Absolutely perfect. Now, loads of recipes for rabbit, stews, pies, but I want to do something a little different. So what I'm planning to do is to make some rabbit koftas to go on the barbecue. I think they will be absolutely perfect. So, what we need to do then first is sort out our bunnikins. So what I'm gonna do, just chop above the not so lucky rabbit foot. jacket off we took the meat off the bone and there we are left with this wonderful rabbit meat now the rabbit being an athlete it's got no fat on it like a supermodel so we need to add an element of fat so what I will be adding to this is some pork fat if you can get some pork fat just add a couple of slices of fatty belly pork it will work just as well so I'm going to send this through the mincer Add my fat, send that through the mincer, we will add our ingredients and get making these beauties and get them on the barbie. I cannot wait. Spring rabbit koftas. It's rock and roll, baby. Okay then, so the ratio I am going to be using is four to one. So I've got 400 grams of my rabbit meat and 100 grams of pork fat. Obviously, like I said, if you can't get pork fat, some nice fatty belly pork right through the mincer we go that's been through the mincer once then our pork fat and our rabbit now we are going to add one medium sized onion that has been diced now the seasoning salt and pepper my ratio is for every 100 grams of meat that's every 100 grams of meat two grams of salt so we got 500 grams in total 10 gram of salt and for every 100 gram of meat one gram of pepper so 500 grams five grams and that gives us a basic base to start adding the lovely flavors two cloves of garlic i'm not really measuring here but that's a teaspoon of ground coriander and a teaspoon of ground cumin so it's taking some really strong flavors here then I'm going to add some chili flakes which are optional not too much I don't want to overpower them give that a little bit of a mix up and then we're going to add our herbage that oh yeah smells fantastic so with koftas then, it's all about the mint. So we want about, I suppose, a tablespoon of nice, finely sliced, fresh mint. Obviously, you could use dried, it won't hurt. Just get it chopped up a bit. Let's not be fussy, this is rustic cookery smells gorgeous so we get that into the mix might add a bit more there and then I'm just going to use some nice fresh parsley bit of color make it nice and fresh not too fussy again let's get that in let's get our hands in there just by eye checking out how it's looking, I'm gonna send that through the mincer one more time. Obviously you don't have to, but I just wanna blend it all together. I think I'm gonna add just a touch more mint to these. See what it smells like. 
it's definitely got that smell. Touch more mint. And through the old mincer. Wow, they are looking and smelling fantastic. Now all I'm doing here is working the mix a bit, get it to stick together as if you were making burgers or sausages. So just gently kneading it, we want it so it binds together. Looking beautiful, smells amazing. So what I'm gonna do is roughly in half, in quarters, that's about right. Any of the OCD guys out there like me, we balance it up. Now I'm just gonna roll these in a ball for now and then I'm gonna get these on chill for a minimum of an hour overnight if you can. Gotta add some to that. And then we'll shape them, put them on our skewers and get them on the bloody barbie. On to the fun part. Now by all means use whatever skewers you want, kebab sticks, if not just make patties out of them or balls or burgers but I'm going to be cooking these on my 2 Ross T1 so I'm going to put them on these beautiful skewers. Now all I'm going to do, I've made a long sausage, I'm just going to squeeze my meat on it and then just gently dipping my hand in the water, just manipulating this kebab, this kofta along the length of this skewer. Just taking your time, just manipulating it along and then you're left. with a wonderful, wonderful shaped rabbit kofta. Just look at that. This truly is a wonderful piece of kit. The Two Ross T1. I use it for absolutely everything. Right then, we just let them do their magic in the pouring rain. It's absolutely tipping the rain and windy, but my kofters are done. Just look at that. Right, I'm gonna get these off. Make up a yogurt and mint dip. And try these bad boys. Just look how good they are. Absolutely brilliant. I'm just gonna make a very simple yogurt and mint dip. What, two and a half tablespoons of Greek yogurt. I've got some finely chopped mint going in. Now you can add salt and pepper if you like, but I'm gonna keep it quite clean. And then we'll get some lemon in there to add an element of acid. Try not to get the pips in. Give that a try. Oh yeah, lovely, cooling, refreshing. Right, let's sort one of these out. Rabbit, kofta. And that pork fat has helped keep it moist. Oh yeah. Get a bit of that on. Mmm. Absolutely outstanding. Bunnykins dressed up for the ball again. Mmm. The seasoning and those spices are absolutely bang on. Bang on. SRP. Rabbit kofta. Job is a good one. Well that, my dear friends, is absolutely magnificent. Who'd have thought it? The humble rabbit. It really is. 
a truly, truly wonderful dish. Well, I hope you like that episode of the Scott Reed Project. Another cracking game dish. I mean, it's absolutely awesome. And if you've liked what you've seen here today, please click subscribe. It'll be coming down here in a few seconds. My beautiful face, click subscribe. I release a video every week, so join the movement. Also, check me out on my social media, Facebook, Scott Reed, The Scott Reed Project. On my Twitter, at The Scott Reed Project. Go on there, like it, share it, spread the word. And until next time, I'm going to have just one more slice of bunnykins. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Ah.